In this tutorial, brought to you by River City Graphics, I'm going to be showing you how to create uh, scrollable content boxes. So what you're going to want to do first is open up Dreamweaver and then click HTML under our Create New. So after you have that, uh, just go into Design View and then go to Insert and then Layout Object and then Div Tag. And we're just going to leave it on Add Insertion Point and then you can just leave these other things blank. And then just click OK. So pretty much this is just going to house um, our scrollable content. So I'm actually just going to copy this because we can use that later for actual writing. Um, and what we're going to do is do a little bit of CSS for this div tag. So we're going to right click inside of this and go to CSS styles and then go to new. So you can just click um, class and then we'll name it um, scroll uh, div style. That's good. And then uh, go down to this document only for defining. And then just click OK. Now it'll bring up a dialog box here. And we can start uh, doing some settings. So click on box. And then we're going to set how big this div tag is. So what we're going to do is um, have width. Let's just make that 600. And then the height, let's make it uh, 800. See how that looks. All right, hold on. We have to first apply that to this div. So click on it, and then down here where it says class, we're going to scroll down to scroll div style, which is what we named it. So that's awfully big. Let's uh, let's change that a little bit. So you can just click on the div and then double click over there um, under your CSS styles. And we're just going to make this. Let's make it 300 by 400. That's better. All right, so now what we're going to do is actually start typing inside of this. So what we're going to need to do is just pretty much type whatever we want. You can, uh, I have copied this from earlier, so I can just paste this over and over and over and over. But um, you're going to see we're going to have a problem here because here's the end of the div tag, and then it's just going to go out of it. And um, if we file uh, save as, we're just going to do Let's save it as scroll bar. I'll save it on my desktop. And now we can preview it in the browser. You're going to see that it just gets super crazy here. And it goes past, like, here's where our div stopped, and it just keeps going. So that's not going to work for us. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make that scroll bar by going back into the CSS uh, style. And so double click again, and then go down to positioning in the category type. And then we're going to go to this tab here where it says overflow. Scroll down and you can either go to scroll which always shows a scroll bar or you can go to auto which adds it if it needs it. And I like auto because that way you don't always have a scroll bar there. Like it'll be kind of blanked out if, if you don't need it but I just don't like that. So I'm just going to click on auto and I'm going to click apply and apply again. So now you can see that it has taken and it doesn't show that um, extra type down there anymore and if we do file save and then we preview that again now you see there is a scroll bar and we can scroll through our content and the nice thing about these div tags is with all this you can actually come and add different things to this I'll probably make a different tutorial on this but you can add background colors and we can make it like a light gray or something. And then these can fit inside of your uh, your template. So it's nice because you can fit a lot of uh, text in one spot with the uh, scroll bar. So uh, I just want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And I'll see you next week. Thanks.